Something magic happens Every time you go You make the magic happen The magic of Orioles baseball Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Autographs 2000 here And in today's video I've got five Autographs through the mail, TTMs I have got a contest win and I'm going to show you some more um, game footage. As always, we will start with some TTMs. The first one is from Oakland, California. And we have got Rob Andrews. He signed 3 of 3 in 17 days. He had a career batting average of 251 with 3 home runs, 91 RBIs. He played five years. He appeared in 493 games. He played from 75 to 79. And he played with Houston and San Francisco. Again, that is Rob Andrews. All right, our second return is from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We've got a mascot. We have got Parrot the Pirate. He signed two of three in nine days. He was introduced in 1979. And the Pirates introduced him because at the time their rival was the Philadelphia Phillies. And the Phillies had just introduced the Philly Fanatic. So in response, the Phillies released their mascot. And again, that was in 1979. And also that year, the Pirates won the World Series. I don't remember who they won the World Series against that year. That's irrelevant. But the Pirates did win the World Series in 1979. All right, I'm going to show you my contest win. It is from Pauly Pax for a third straight week. And he sent me this note. It says the Chicago Bulls and Autographs 2000. Both three peats. Congrats, Pauly Pax. That's pretty awesome. Yes, I did three peat. I did win his contest or his giveaway three weeks in a row. This is the card I won this time. That sweet McGriff Diamond King. Now, um, the first week that I won the contest, I believe there were seven people in it. And. I want to say I've helped him maybe get the contest growing a little bit because this last week I did not win and there were 19 people in the contest. So I want more people to keep going over there, check this guy out. He's got a pretty, pretty nice channel and I like this giveaway he does. And again, I'll leave a link to his channel in my description. All right, our third return is from Worcester, Westchester, New York. We have got Mark Johnson. He signed three of four in 50 days. He had a career batting average of 232 with 38 home runs, 137 RBIs. He played seven years. He appeared in 428 games. He played from 95 to 2002, and he played with Pittsburgh, Anaheim, and the Mets. His best season was in 1996 when he hit 13 home runs, knocked in 47, and he batted 240, 274 that year. Mark Johnson. All right, our next return. Comes to us from Jacksonville, Florida. And we have got Mike Prolly. He signed three of three in 24 days. He had a career record of 22 and 29 with a 3.23 ERA. He played seven years, appeared in 267 games. He played from 76 to 83. And he played with St. Louis, the White Sox, the Phillies, and the Cubs. Mike 
Mike Riley. All right, before we get to our last return, I'm going to show you some in-game action. What I want you to look at in this in-game is when I was watching this game, I was watching this guy, uh, the pitcher doing his warm-ups, and he has, an, I think, an extra long stride. Uh, his name is Miguel Gar Guerrero. He's six foot five. And I want you to watch this and tell me if you think his stride is longer than usual. back I think I think that is probably the longest stride I've seen on a pitcher all right our last return comes to us from Hartford Connecticut and we have got Linda Ruth Tassetti the granddaughter of Babe Ruth the great Bambino the Sultan of Swat Babe or er, she signed in three three she signed three out of three in 19 days. He had a career batting average of 342 with 714 home runs, 2214 RBIs. He played 22 years. He appeared in 2503 games. He played from 2014 to 2035. He played with Boston and New York. He was the MVP in 1923. He led the league in home runs um, 12 times. He led the league in RBIs five times. He led the league in walks 11 times. In 2023, or in 1923, his batting average was 393. Uh, he won a batting title in, 19, in 1924 with a 378 average. Um, I know everybody thinks, you know, when you think of Babe Ruth, you think of home runs, you think of RBIs. But during his career, he batted over 300 16 times. He was in the inaugural Hall of Fame class in 1936. He won seven World Series. He is in the All-Century team. He is on the MLB All-Time team. And also, as a pitcher, his career numbers as a pitcher, his record was 94 and 46 with a 2.28 ERA as a pitcher. That is, that is awesome. And that is why he is widely considered one of the greatest, probably the greatest player of all time. And, I mean, I've always known he was great, but I never knew that he batted 393 in a season. He won a batting title with 378, and he batted 316 times. He played 22 years, and 16 of those he hit over 300. That's amazing. And that, guys, is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that like button. If you've not subscribed yet, please do so. And until next time, guys, Autographs 2000 is out.